through some of my tools in the garage there, getting things more organized and everything, and figuring out which of my old sockets I need to put into my uh, two new sets here that I got on Black Friday. Um, but then, I, you know, when I came across my Gator socket here, and I started playing around with it, and I realized this thing just ruined it for both of these sets. So you know what? I'm really miffed. Now I got to throw both of these sets out. I got to dump them because these sets are useless. So I have to dump my Craftsman 216-piece mechanic set here, and I got to take my Dewalt. 173 piece mechanic socket set here and I have to dump both of these tools. So what exactly did this Gator grip do that ruined everything here for my two tool sets that I can't use them now? Well today we're going to review this Gator grip socket for you. We're going to show you everything this thing does and we're going to answer this question of why we have to dump these tool sets now. And it all starts right now. Okay so this here is the Endeavor Tool Company Gator grip socket right here. This is a universal socket they build it. It comes in a package like this okay and it comes with a, a quarter inch drive to three eighths inch adapter and it's also a 3 8 inch drive on the back here I prefer to drive it direct with my 3 8 inch ratchet because anytime you have a socket like this it's always best to drive it direct without having any interconnected parts in between that might wiggle or cause you to lose any uh, mechanical advantage there so here's a sample of one of the kits that it comes with now the socket comes in different kits you can buy the socket by itself you can buy it with this adapter here and and they even believe it or not they even make a version that adapts to the curb key on your water meter so if you ever have to turn on and off different water meters that socket will adapt to the different various valves they even have a kit here that you can see here on the screen here they have a kit that comes with its own little ratchet too just in case you don't have a ratchet set or you just want to keep it together as a as its own little standalone kit Okay, so this is what the Gator Grip socket here looks like. And as you can see, it's got 54 stainless steel rods on springs that kind of push back in. They compress together to one another here. And what happens is, is they wrap around whatever fastener you're going to plug this onto, and, it, and they'll get a grip on it, and it spins it around and, and tightens around it and enables you to tighten or loosen it. Okay, now just a little disclosure. I want you to know this is not a paid commercial. Nobody paid me to talk about this product. You know me, I'm always doing product reviews anyway. This is not a product placement. Nobody gave me this. This I bought this myself with my own money. I've had this particular Gator Grip Universal Socket for 21 years out of my garage. So, but one thing I'll tell you that is when I put the links down in Amazon for this product, and if you go and buy it from Amazon, we do get a couple of percent commission. So thank you for your support there. And you know, really, is there anybody alive today, folks, that doesn't know, anytime somebody gives you a link to Amazon, they're making a couple of percent from that. What's amazing about this part here is that this has sat in my garage for 21 years. I bought this socket back in 1998, back when I saw the As Seen on TV you know, infomercial for this. This thing just blew my mind when I saw all of the things that they were claiming that it could do. And so I, I bought this at that time. This has been sitting out in my garage since 1998. This is unbelievably amazing how it's in pristine condition it still looks like it's brand spanking new. When I have other tools like pliers and wire cutters that rust just sitting out there, I have drill driver bits that just rust just by sitting out there because here in South Florida, we have 60, 70% humidity all the time in the summer and it's just hot and brutal. So it's amazing to have this thing still in, in great condition like this. So I just wanna show you something here that maybe a lot of people haven't noticed before, but I'll show you right now. So I'm gonna take my screwdriver here and push down some of these pins. You see how you've got that scalloped edge? See how each and every one of these hexagon sides here has that sort of scalloped edge? You can barely see it right there where the tip of the screwdriver is. Those scalloped edges there help keep these rods directly in place so that they don't wiggle too much and they, they keep, they're able to transfer the torque to the fastener. The cheap knockoffs don't do this. They just stick their rods in there and the rods are all over the place and it causes them to not fit very well and often they break due to the fact that they're using cheap steel and probably white metal as their rods, not high-end stainless steel like Endeavor Tool Company is using here on this Gator Grip Universal socket. So in case you were thinking of, well, let me, let me try to save three or four bucks and go buy one of those cheap knockoffs that I see on Amazon or eBay. Well, um, let, me, let me warn you about those and tell you what's the difference here. So if you look here at the Gator Grip socket here, this Gator Grip Universal socket actually has 54 of these stainless steel rods. So a lot of the counterfeiters out there and the, and the uh, cheap imitations, they only have half of the rods. 
And so because of that, this gator grip fits the fasteners quickly and more securely because, you know, with more rods, you have more granular, tighter, better fit. So that's one thing to consider as well, okay? And um, you have higher torque on this here. So the gator grip, actually, it's rated to over 150 foot-pounds, even though they exceeded 200 foot-pounds of torque in the laboratory tests. But they're, they're uh, warranting it, I guess, up to about 150 foot-pounds here. Most of the copies fail between 30 to 40 foot-pounds. So, and also, this has a much better resistance to solvents. So some of those cheapy knockoffs, you know how that, you know, see how you get the spring here, the springing action with the pins? On the knockoffs, what they do is they, they use a glue to secure their pins to the springs, which is stupid. Because if you ever get any kind of cleaners or solvents in there, like people want to clean off their, their tools here, it will dissolve the glue and then the rods start popping off here. So what the Gator Grip Universal Socket here does is it uses a solvent resistant, it's a high-end adhesive from DuPont, it's called Hytrel. It's an elastomeric resin, so it protects the socket. It, it, it really is impervious to any kind of solvents you might dump in there, so you don't have to worry about your rods ever popping out when you clean it. So Endeavor Tools here claims that the Gator Grip Universal Socket here will adapt to any standard fastener size from one quarter inch up to three quarter inches. Or if you're dealing with metric, they say it'll go from seven millimeters up to 19 millimeters. And it will adapt, according to their claims, to anything from uh, you know wing nuts to eye hooks to square nuts to hex nuts to um, all sorts of cup hooks. And they claim any irregularly shaped fastener you can use this socket on. So we're going to test that today and verify that. And they claim it even works on rusted and damaged nuts and bolts as well. It can be used with an electric drill. Okay, now you guys know me. For years I've always told people that I've, I've never trusted commercials. And I've always told people that I don't think products work outside the commercials. So what I've done here is I've sort of replicated the original as seen on TV commercial that they did here for the the Endeavor Tools Company Gator Grip Universal Socket. So, of course, I added a lot more screws than that. They just showed like a handful across a board like this. So I've got all these different types of fasteners here, and we want to see which one of these it works on and which ones it doesn't work on, because I want to see if their claim is true. Okay, there are two basic ways that you can use to drive this Endeavor Tools Gator Grip Universal Socket here. One of them is you can just use a 3 8 inch ratchet, which is my preferred method, since this is a 3 8 inch drive. You just put it in like that. That way you have the maximum amount of uh, usability and efficiency of torque there. And the other way you could use it is on your drill driver here, you, you can put your quarter inch to three eighths inch adapter on there and just stick the socket on there like that. Now you've got it like that, right? What you can't do, and let me give you a warning about this folks, do not put it on your impact driver. The instructions specifically state to only use a drill driver because the impact driver likely has too much torque. I'm sure that's sort of a hammering and impacting uh, motion that these impact drivers have would probably likely damage the rods over time or something, that, that's my guess. You wouldn't want to put it on one of those giant impact socket wrenches either because of the amount of torque that those things have. So it's meant to be used slowly and surely, I guess, with a regular drill driver. And a question you might have is, hey, you know, can I use it on a spark plug? Can I use the gator grip to pull out my spark plugs? And the answer is no, and I'll tell you why, because see, when you go to push it in like this, you, know, you need a deep well socket. The, the pins just simply don't push in far enough to, to be able to get in at the hex nut, which is over here. So you would need a, a deep well socket, which they don't have a version of that. And um, I don't know whether they can make a deep well socket version of it. So for now, you can't use this to undo your spark plugs. Sorry guys. Hey, I got a question for you. Do you think we can use this to pull the lug nuts off of the rims on our car? All right, so let's try this Lexus SUV. It doesn't look like it's gonna fit because it, the head is just too big around. So you would have to have a lug nut whose head is three quarters of an inch or less. So not on this car. All right, so let's try the Mercedes here. And on these old hex ones, yeah, it, it works on these. I can feel it gripping on there. And 
it sort of snags on the locking one, but I wouldn't I wouldn't count on it working 100%. Okay, so we're just going to go right down the line here and test it on each one of these to see. I have my doubts about this guy because he's small, although they do say they can drive something that's a quarter of an inch, so let's try it. We'll put it on that eye hook for, we'll put it on that eye bolt first. Yeah, drove it all the way down. Let's see how it works on this guy. All right, I'm not so sure about this one because that's a real big piece, but let's see if it can grip the top part. Oops. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow, I'm surprised. And it didn't chew up the bits either. The rods are doing pretty good. All right, let's try this cup hook with the spring clip on it. Piece of cake, made easy work out of that one. This one will probably do the same. Yep, let's try this guy. Now, this one I added, they did not have this one in the original commercial, so I added this as a door stopper because I thought, well, that'd be kind of cool to see if it would work. It's round, so the company says no, it won't work on round heads, but because it's kind of rubbery-ish and plastic here, I think it might grip it. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, yeah sort of, it's like, it caught it a little bit, and then, but then it spins in place, but you can see it's kind of moving it a little here and there. You'd be wasting your time on it, but yeah, it does. And I think it's because this thing is spinning. See, that's the problem. So if this rubber thing was attached better, it would work, because you could see it that it was spinning. All right, let's try the wing nut. This one looks big, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I, let me see if it'll work on here. Yeah, I can kind of do it like that. Even though I'm sort of helping it a little. Yeah, unfortunately, this was the only sized wing nut I had. I didn't have the smaller one, and I'm sure it would work. I have no doubt that it would work on that one. Okay, so now we move on to the hex nuts and other things and screws. Now this tiny one I have my doubts about because it's, this is a quarter inch. Now they say it'll drive a quarter inch, so let's see. I don't know. Yeah, it didn't seem to move it. And I know that that's a quarter inch head on there because I put a quarter inch socket on there. I mean, yeah, it did drive it, okay. So I guess it barely, barely makes it. I guess you just have to get it right. But yeah, you could see it drove it down here. So this one's a 5 16 inch head. This ought to be a lot easier. I can feel it gripping. As soon as I put it on there, I can kind of feel it grip, so. Yeah, so this drives it down pretty good. Okay, then you have this one here. This is a, um, this one here is a 5 8 inch drive right here. Had no problem with that one. This one here is a 3 quarter inch head on this one here. And we'll see if I can get it. And so you're right at the max limit of what they say. So I think what has to happen here is you have to turn it around until you can get it to line up. Okay, yeah, I got it there, see, it finally got on. So now let's try it, and it works, it's moving it. Okay, so now we're moving on here to the really weird and wacky. So here we've got a thumb screw. I'm gonna see if it'll spin this guy around. Oh yeah, with ease. He had no problem with that guy. And here we have an angle bend here, square bend. Let's try that. Yep. So it was able to fit around that square band there and get him screwed down. How about a Tapcon? See, now he's got a round head, so I'm thinking, no, it's not going to work. Yep, I was right. All it does is it'll just spin in place on anything with a round head. Okay, so now we come to the last two. This is a Deckmate screw with a T25 head on it. And it does not seem to grip it because it's round. Now this last one here, this is a very unique case of a screw here. This is not a round head. It might look it, but I don't know if the camera can show it how it's actually sort of a hexagonal shape, but each of the hex sides indent in. So it looks almost like a rose, like a flower petal here. This is a rock on screw here. These are screws that we use normally to screw in Duro Rock Wonder Board. So when you're doing your, your tiling, we, we use these screws to screw in the, 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 
the tile backer boards there in the shower for tiling the shower walls. So just as an aside here, make sure you're using, these are the right screws. These are made, designed specifically to use on Durarock and they're coated so that they don't rust with the moisture in the shower. I see too many idiots out there that are using drywall screws to put the, the panel boards up on the showers, which is just idiotic. Don't be that person. All right, so let's see if this will work on that. So I'm getting around, you know, it kind of feels like it's snugging around it. I, I bet it does work. I can feel it, it slips a little bit, but look at that. Look at that, it drove it. That's pretty amazing. All right, so let's give a round of applause to all of our willing participants here. What we want to do is we want to see if this gator grip universal socket here will work on this bolt here and we want to see how much torque we can put on it how much torque will this gator grip socket withstand here using my torque wrench here now i got to warn you my torque wrench only goes up to 80 foot pounds so we won't be able to test it to its full spec of about 150 foot pounds but certainly we can test it with this here and see if it works okay so we adjusted the vise here Made it a little tighter, and we'll see if we can't do anything with that now. Okay, I think we're tripping the 80-pound uh, limit here on the torque wrench. Yeah, I think all it's doing is just twisting the screw at this time. So we really can't test it for full torque on this. Take a look at this though, you see those scrapes right there? You can see how the bolt was spinning in place there on the, the jaws of the vise there, right? But look at this, the socket did a pretty good job of bending the bolt. So that's how strong it is, that's how strong the hold is on it. All right, so by now you're probably wondering, Jeff, why do you have to throw out your tool sets now? What did this thing do to your tool sets? How did it ruin them? Well, it didn't ruin the tool sets. This one socket seems to replace every socket I have in both of these. I don't need them anymore. So I might as well just take this DeWalt tool set here and, and dump it, throw it off the wall, let it crash to the ground. I might as well just take my Craftsman 216 piece mechanic set here and get rid of it because this socket seems to cover everything that's in here. Nah, come on, I'm just teasing. I'm not gonna get rid of these two sets. These are great sets. But I can tell you one great thing about this Gator Grip socket. This socket, I call it my lifeboat socket because this thing has saved my butt numerous times over the years, which is why I bought it originally. But six months ago, we were using it. Um, we had it at a friend's house. My friend came and picked me up. We grabbed some tools and we went over to fix his condo up that he was gonna sell. Just put some lipstick on the pig. And we went to go to unscrew the screws on his front door for the curtain rods. And guess what? They were these little, 5 16 hex screws. They weren't regular Phillips head screws. We're like, what are we gonna do? Because I didn't bring my ratchet set. But by miraculous blessing from God, I had my gator grip socket with me. And I was able to use this socket just with my hand without even any tool to unscrew that hex nut off the wall there. So that's why sometimes these things can really come in handy for you. It's a great thing to put in a lot of your little hand tools. And for the price of these, they're, they're fairly cheap. I have like three or four of these now that I keep them in some of my scattered boxes just in case I need something in an emergency. Well, I hope you're finding this video useful so far. And if you are, hey, go ahead and smash that like button down below. Let's us know that you like us. Just click on that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, all I can say is, why not, man? So go ahead and click that subscribe button down below because here on this channel, we give you all sorts of world-class videos on remodeling your house, big engineering disasters, how to recover major issues around your house. And we do tool reviews as well, like you saw here today. So you don't wanna miss a single one. So make sure you click on that subscribe button. After you click on that subscribe button, click on that little gray bell icon next to it. That way you'll be alerted every time we upload a video because otherwise we'll be uploading videos left and right and YouTube will not tell you unless you tell YouTube that you want them to let you know when we upload a video. So that's it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate each and every one of you coming here today. And guess what, folks? We will see you on the next one.